Well, good morning guys. Um, <laughs> it's a bit of a fail start to the vlog already. So I, well, I've been awake on and off since about seven. I set my alarm early and it was kind of like, right, that, you know, get up, get yourself ready. And it was hairdresser time, so my appointment was for half past, yeah, half past nine. Got myself all ready, literally just about to leave, and got a call from the hairdressers saying that um, the girl that was doing my hair, um, she's got laryngitis, so she's sick, so she's not in. Oh, I'm gutted. Like, I, it's, it's nothing obviously to do with, the, like, the, hair, the hairdressers, not their fault, it's not, you know, it's not the, the girl's fault. You know, you get ill, you get ill, you can't, you can't help it, it's just one of those things, isn't it? But I got myself all psyched up to get my hair done. And I feel like I don't want to stay brown now. I want to have blonde hair. And obviously the thing is I, I don't know when she's going to be in. So who knows when I can get it done now. I was debating. There's a couple of other hairdressers down the bay. But they're like super, super expensive ones. And I don't know. It's like I want, I want blonde hair. But do I want it that bad? But I want to spend out like a crazy amount of money and I don't know what's going on with my makeup today but I really don't like it I'm not seeing more tan than what I think I am I don't know basically I was running low on my pure powder and the colour that I've been using like of, of late has been tan and I was thinking to myself oh that's too dark for me so I thought I'll get the light tan which is what I was wearing like that was kind of like my non-summer colour but I've put it on and I don't know it's just making me look really pale I don't know I'm just not I'm not I'm not feeding it today now um but yeah I think I'm still gonna go down the bay I'll probably grab a coffee do some work not get my hair done hey guys so uh, we're just gonna head to Weatherspoons for some brunch I think I literally can't see it then. <laughs> yeah, it's bright, isn't it? Charlotte's not happy. Well, no, I, I think I'm, I'm better. I'm basically gonna go somewhere else, I think. Not today, but like... I'll see if I can book it for like the weekend. The basic idea is that, is that, that there's a groove that I can follow that's exactly right for right for bad. Exactly right for right for Sometimes when I try to reason yeah. You don't seem to listen at all yeah. I don't know if it's just a feeling yeah. Or if we are about to fall Hey guys, so it is afternoon time now I have a little one clutched up a little cuddle yeah I, I mean i haven't uh haven't managed to get anything sorted with my hair um yeah i popped into that guy christian and got like a color consultation thing um but yeah it's like the cheapest is like 150 160 pounds so i cannot be a Affording that, that's like super expensive. So um, I'm just gonna have to wait, I think, until the girl who's gonna do my hair um, originally is like better again. So I'll probably be able to do maybe next week. We'll see. But yeah, didn't really get up to much today apart from I edited the vlog. Um, that's all done and that's scheduled to go up. I, my plan was to jump in the shower, so hopefully I'll still be able to do that. But it's like, no you won't. No you won't. She's like, leave me alone. Because we are actually going out this evening. Joe's taking me on a date night. We're going to Chimichangas, which is a Mexican place. And I really like Mexican food, so I am, oh, I'm all about going to Chimichangas. So yeah, so I want to kind of like refresh my makeup, possibly do a face mask, 
before we go. Oh, I'm sorry, am I keeping you awake? Oh, oh she's going. <gasps> she was not happy about that. Ah, I should press it then. <laughs> send. <laughs> send. Send. <laughs> I love my AirPods. If you couldn't tell already. <laughs> Look at these little things I got from as well. Little, uh, like jelly clips. Which, because, I mean, it's silly to expect these things to actually stay in someone's ear when they're so glossy. It's just like really shiny, glossy plastic, which is like hard plastic, which clearly that's just gonna fall out of your ear. So these, uh, Jelly things have got um, much more uh, like friction to them, and also they got a little hook which goes in like the shape of your ear, and they do provide you with uh, three different sizes. So obviously everyone's got a different size ears, but these fit perfectly, and they never they, they haven't fallen out once. When I wasn't using them, they were literally hanging on the on the edge like the whole time. But look at that. I got from Amazon, by the way. I put an affiliate link down below. <laughs> nah, just do it like just just do a search. <laughs> yeah, I don't actually have any affiliate links, so that'd yeah. be pretty hard. <laughs> what are you doing now? The chairs up higher than usual, and uh, <laughs> little like proper squat between the table and the chair. Why is the chair up so high? I, I like to put it quite high for myself. Oh. Got it all the way down. <laughs> oh, Lil. Oh, Lil. You're such a lovely girl. Such a lovely girl. Have you ever seen such a beautiful cat in your life? If anyone says they have, it's a lie. You're lying. You're lying to yourselves. And you're lying to the rest of the world because this is the most beautiful cat in the world. Guys, that meal was not good at all. It really wasn't good, like. Yeah, we, we, we didn't really we vlog that. there. <laughs> because, well, I mean, yeah, the food wasn't great and the service, I think, was pretty shocking. Oh, I mean, on top of the food being bad, the waitress was like really rude to us as well. Yeah, um, well, <laughs> basically it was, uh, we, we'd ordered some wine. And I know, I mean, you know, but I know because yeah. I was listening that you had said Pinot Grigio Rosé because there was a Pinot Grigio White and a Pinot Grigio Rosé. You said Rosé. So they come over with the wine and like they didn't do the usual thing where they like say, oh, is this the wine that you've chosen? You know, we'll pour it for all that. Yeah, it was just plonked on the was, table it was, it was with, no, with no like anything. Yeah. Um, so when Joe picked up the bottle, it turned out it was actually white. So when the waitress came back over and took our order, you just very politely just said, oh, um, yeah. it was the rosé peanut grigio we were looking for. Yeah, I was, um, honestly, I was, I, I, yeah. I hate people who are rude to waiters and waitresses. Like, I, I absolutely hate it. It's a pet peeve. Yeah. Like, it's disgusting when people are rude to wait waiters. Um, so very politely, I said to a, like, uh, like, I think there might have been a bit of a mix-up with the wine, so it was, it was the rosé one we were, we were after. And uh, she really funny. got really funny with me, and mm. uh, she, she, she said, I've, I've written down Pinot Grigio on my uh, piece of paper, she showed me. Yeah, and she and, said, you, you asked for Pinot Grigio. Yeah, which I didn't, but I didn't say that to her. I said, oh, well, I said, is it okay if we swap it? And uh, she was like, yeah, yeah, and then and like swapped you, it, but then and then come back and then and carried on carry, kicking yeah. off about it. But is it? <laughs> but like even even when she says, oh yeah, yeah, that's fine. I have got Pinot Grigio written down now. Like we hadn't opened the bottles. If we'd opened yeah, the bottles, yeah, it wasn't opened. I couldn't understand it being like, well, you've opened it now, but it was completely unopened. And then she was being funny with like with our food order, repeating it back. As, yeah, as, that, but like yeah. with like an attitude. as if we were stupid. Like, yeah, as if like, as if, do you know what you want? <sighs> Yeah, she she yeah, was awful. She, she, she was, was really really so, yeah, really bad. <laughs> she, the chimichangas in, and in Cardiff. Because we're nice people, we still left a tip. 
Uh, yeah, we still left it. And we didn't. We didn't say anything to her. We were just like, when she walked off, we were like, wow. Okay. Yeah. No, um, that was that was bad. I mean, the food. But the thing is, we can't blame any of them there for the food because chimichangas is chain. When they when restaurants are chain, basically they're told by head office what to yeah. cook, and they give them recipes. Like we can't complain about anybody there. But the, but the service was that was that, oh, um, that was awful. We like obviously we left the money. We didn't just leave it all paying. But we like yeah. you put the cash down. No one came over. Yeah, we to were take waiting it. for a long, long time it for was, anybody to take our not, cash. It was not busy. No, it wasn't busy. There was like a, there was like one more table. Yeah, with it, like a couple on it. Yeah, it was not busy. Yeah. So there was no reason why they they would have left us for like how long? I don't know, but it whatever like, the case, we're never going back there again. No, it um, was terrible. They put coriander in my salad. Yeah, which Corian. wasn't on the menu. It wasn't listed on the ingredients of the menu. And onion. Yep. No oh, onion. And I didn't get my peppers. And I like chimichanga is the name of a dish in chimichanga as well. My other chimichanga, and it was supposed to be the signature dish. And it was supposed to be like something deep fried. And I, I don't like things to be super greasy, but basically this wasn't even freshly deep fried. It was like microwaved. It was, oh, Lily's up on the table again. Excuse Look. me. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss. Lily. Miss, you can't talk about us. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday today. I believe it's Friday. Yes, it's Friday. And it is a rainy old day outside. I have just literally finished getting ready. Um, we did a workout this morning, so worked out. I just got ready, and now it started raining. So I'm going to have to stick the hat on, I think. Yeah, so it is actually my nan's 90th birthday today. Um, so yeah, we are going to go and see her later on. Um, because obviously she's in the care home. Is it your brother? Busy writing. <coughs> oh, my throat's gone. <clears throat> Busy writing. Mm. Writing this secret project. Mm. But yeah, so my nan is the ripe old age of 90. I mean... She's, I mean, I say she's still going strong. She's not really in good health. Um, between her Alzheimer's and like all the chest infections that she's had, obviously she really wasn't well before Christmas, but she's still, you know, still, she's made it to 90, so good on her. But we're just gonna pop into town because like I knew I was, I forgot a number of things when we went into town the other day because I forgot my list. Look at it in the background. Let's see what it looks like. On my scarf. Yep, she still has my scarf. At the minute, I have no scarf because I actually left my um, like camel coloured one at Chimichangas last night, which is another thing I'm going to do in town. I'm going to ask them if they have like picked it up Hopefully they have, and then I'll get it back. Because uh, as it stands, I don't have a scarf anymore. The other two that I had went to Lily, and the one was pooped on by Tula. And now Lily's taking that one, so I do not have a scarf. I'm hoping it's not going to be cold out there, though. But Joe's getting his hair cut. Look at this mop, guys. Mop. Look at that. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. Oh, ah. That needs to go, and it is going right now. I may as well just grab some scissors now. I can't cope anymore. Ch -ch -ch. Um, so she's so going to get that done. Um, I at one point I did get you. Well, I got some clippers, didn't I? And I said that I was going to do it for you. It only happened once. I don't think Joe wants it to happen again. I think you're just too cautious, aren't you? <laughs> I was terrible. I'm, I'm no good with hair. Hair is just not my forte. Well, I mean, you haven't had any practice, I suppose, have you? It, 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 it wasn't. Uh... Anyway, I'm going to the hairdresser. <laughs> 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 Moral of the story is don't get shot to do your hair. Hey guys, we are back from town. I have got my hair cut. Oh, that is so much better. I hate my hair when it's bulky. But uh, nice and right down to the skin. Uh, one thing is that I did not go to my usual place because 
uh, I was going to go there and the seats were all completely full so I would have had a very long wait. Usually I would have sat down and um, just waited but we were in a bit of a rush today so yeah I had to go somewhere different uh, but that was that was okay. Uh, Lily's trying to eat my pastel donata. Ah, Lil. Yeah I'm mad. So I'm back to uh, typing away, got a lot of writing to do and uh, yeah we're gonna head out soon to see Charlotte's nan. The weather has been horrible today. It got like nice and mild earlier on the week and I thought that's it now, spring's here. We, we've, we've had our winter, that's it. Um, it appears it is back. I mean it's not as cold as what it was last week obviously but but yeah, I picked up the couple of bits that I needed. Um, I got my lip balm, even though it's not actually the one that I wanted. The one that I wanted, they just didn't seem to have, so I just went with another one because I'm like absolutely desperate. I quite like my outfit today. Well, I say my outfit, I have actually changed my uh, eyes on daps, but I got on boots instead. But I got these leggings on. From These are from... ASOS, uh, they're kind of like the leather look leggings or wet look leggings, disco leggings, whatever you want to call them. I'm sad like this because you never know when Lily wants to have a little cuddle by here and yeah I know I've got my boots up on the sofa but you know what, it's my sofa so. <laughs> this is the joy of being an adult. Look at her on my scarf. <gasps> Talking of scarves, right? Oh yeah. Talking of scarves. Oh my god. Oh, I mean, <clears throat> I. Jim Jangers, uh, like thieves. They stole my scarf. Um, yeah, I left my scarf there last night, and I do think it's because <laughs> the design of the chair. So, the chair had like a massive like hole in the back. So I'd like put my scarf like, you know like behind me but I think it must have like s like slipped through and onto the floor so then I didn't I just like completely forgot about them because I couldn't see it but yeah went back there and it, there was that same rude woman that served us um last night and um so Joe said oh, my wife forgot her scarf last night you know described it to one of the members of staff and then she went over and talked and I could see that it was the woman that served us last night that was being asked you know have, have you you know have seen a scarf um and i could see i seen her like sh shake her head and i thought oh, well i know i left it and the place was like really quiet and like we left at about nine half nine yeah so i can't imagine that they would have got like that busy and it would that i that they just said oh no sorry we'll keep a lookout for it but Basically, I think that's it now. That scarf is gone, and I'm sure it was her. I feel like she just took a disliking to her. She really seemed to have like a uh, like an issue. <laughs> it seemed like even when she first sat us down, that she had like a bit of a yeah, attitude good. on her. Hmm. Um, maybe she'd just been on a bad day. I don't know, but like it, it just seems silly that she wouldn't have noticed the scarf when she was like cleaning the table up. I mean, I suppose technically it could have been someone like someone else working there, but there didn't seem to be that many other people working. But I really like that scarf. I'd, I'd actually got that for myself on my birthday. I got it in the warehouse sale. So yeah, now I've, I've literally got no scarf, so like winter needs to do one basically. Because I can't like... I don't think there's really scarves about now to buy or at least like the kind of scarf that I would want. So, hey guys, my makeup is very shiny and coming off in places and my lipstick's coming off. I've, we've just eaten tea. We went to see my nan and it was really nice, wasn't it, Jill? Yeah, she was actually having a full-on party. They threw, threw her a party yeah. and there was a, a live singer and there was everyone around having like cocktails. I'm assuming they were non-alcoholic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and yeah, the staff seemed really lovely, didn't they? And they they were uh, welcomed us in and said, "Do we want to drink and stuff?" And uh, 
Yeah, it was, it was really yeah. nice actually. Yeah, she seemed really happy and she seemed quite like with it and yeah, she just seemed really like content. It was uh, like, it was really nice to see. Um, Cause like obviously I, you know, just being in the uh, the care home, you just assume that uh, like she's just gonna be in bed or something. Uh, Cause she's usually just like sat in bed. So I hate it bothering me. Um, and a lot of the time she's just, she's in bed sleeping, but she was like fully with it and yeah, she was enjoying her little pie. So yeah, it was lovely to see. Uh, but yeah, we are just heading in now. I feel absolutely knackered. Joe's still got some writing to do. So yeah, we will see you in the morning. Good night. Hello from Mrs. Egghead. Doesn't look like an egg like this. Yeah, it is Saturday today. Um, I am starting vlogging quite late. It is just coming up to two. I mean, myself personally has been slightly more of like a chilled, lazy day. Joe's been up early, doing his writing. We did do a workout though. Well, actually we ended up doing bits of two different work workouts. Yeah, that was right in there. That first one was awful. Yeah, we, we tried, um, so it was the same woman. Um, it was still the 21 day fix, but it was the extreme one, which we've done some of the extreme ones before and managed them. But this was one of the workouts from that plan that we hadn't tried and it was called the Fix Challenge, I think. Yeah. And, well, two two things about that workout. One, for, for me, because I have only recently started doing kind of like my upper body, like arm um, training using weights and stuff. So... I haven't got much like upper body strength. It was pretty much all to do with supporting your own weight via your arms. So I was struggling because of that. I think Joe was doing fine with that because obviously he does weights on a regular basis. So he's got really good strength in those muscles. But for me, that was, it was just too hard. I could like barely get through it. And apart from that, it was like, so you start off doing the one exercise and then she was it after like four reps of that yeah after four reps of that it was then there was another exercise you do four reps of that and then you'd go back to the first one and then basically you keep adding but every time you go back to like the first one and then the second exercise duh, duh, duh. it was so boring it was so boring and just like oh i can't I was getting really annoyed at this one move called the the inchworm. Oh, those flipping inchworms. Because yeah, m most of those like twenty minute day fix workouts is kind of like you do you do one exercise. The maximum the maximum amount of times you do one exercise is twice. Yeah, so you like do once, then you repeat it a second time, and then that's it done. But this we repeated that inchworm must have been over fifty times. It was just it was ridiculous, and um, yeah, we got to like well we had a. a like 15 minutes left so we done half of it um because they're like 30 minutes so we done half of it and we were like oh we can't we can't do this and like it, it wasn't enjoyable and you know you want your workout to to be somewhat enjoyable so we done like a um an ab split then so we we have done like a full workout <laughs> just like bits of two different ones so anyway, that was that. Um, and today is the day that I tried fake tanning. It's probably a bad day to try because we also be going out for a meal with your mum tomorrow. <laughs> so I could end up looking like an oompa loompa, but hopefully it won't be it won't be too bad. Um, so I have just been in the shower i've actually got a hair mask on as well which i'm gonna leave on for like the entire time that i'm doing the tanning which i'm hoping is gonna be okay because like it's just it's just like a deep conditioning treatment right like it's not gonna do anything if i leave it on for longer so, so i've done all my exfoliating all my shaving all that jazz so 
I'm just gonna have some lunch now and then I'm gonna apply the fake tan. And then I think it's just supposed to leave it on then, well it says for up to four hours. So anywhere between an hour and four hours, I can rinse it off. But obviously the longer you leave it on, the more tan you'll be. I'm just gonna have some lunch. I'm gonna have a nice healthy tuna salad. Lil is well up for this. She can smell the tuna. So it's gonna have tuna salad. And then later on is chicken dip time. Jules just ripped his belt. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Michelle. Um, what, what were you doing? I was trying to, basically, I was trying to unbuckle my belt to make room for this food. <laughs> My stomach is like really tight against the belt. I pulled. <laughs> my, oh my god, look at it. What I was, I was the like that. Hell? I was trying to pull it. And <laughs> oh wow. Oh wow. I mean, wow. Well, I mean, flipping hell. <laughs> I. I, I, I <laughs> <laughs> what are you, the Hulk? <laughs> what is that? Basically, it's just a very old belt. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe, maybe I just, I, I put in a lot of work this morning and I work, aren't I? I keep been doing too many weights, <laughs> my love. No, I, to be honest, it's been hanging off for ages and I, I haven't replaced it. And it's finally... Uh, well, now you're going to have to. I know, yeah. Oh. I'm, oh, my pants are going to be falling down. I know, yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah, I, I do have another belt in my wardrobe somewhere. On that note, I'm <laughs> going to eat my salad. I've got leggings on, so I'm fine. <laughs> hey, y'all. Well, I have fake tan on, but I think I might have been too cautious and I don't think it's done anything. I haven't washed it off yet. I don't feel, oh, I don't know, maybe, maybe like a slight bit of tan. Yeah, so of all, obviously I have done my hair. I say done my hair, I've blow dried it, so that's why it looks very big and slightly fluffy because I haven't actually put the straighteners over it, but. Uh, but yeah, I have just done the chicken dip. It is now in the oven. I cannot wait. I'm so hungry. Um, I think Joe's done work for the day. I am indeed. Done work for the day. And I'm gonna get into my PJs because uh, I'm still wearing this broken belt. <laughs> it's just like it hanging off. It looks really bad. Uh, it does, doesn't it? I've kept it on all day. Fashion statement. Yeah. Is this like when you do the glasses um, on your head? A distressed look, is that what they call it? <laughs> distressed slash broken look. He's a broken man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wow, it's been a harsh day for Joe. <laughs> oh, is Dad gone? <gasps> is Dad gone? Oh, is he out there? He'll be back now. She hates it when anyone leaves the room. <laughs> She gets really sad. She wants the whole family be to be together. Good morning, fine people. It is Sunday today. So, I know the vlog usually goes up on a Sunday, and it still is, but it's probably going to go up later than what I usually upload. So I think it's about 6 o'clock the videos normally go live, but it might be a bit later because it's Mother's Day today. So I thought I may as well vlog a little bit of that as well. But yeah, we are, well it's currently just gone 9 now, and we've been picked up by someone in the fam, and a think we're going to harvest this i want to say may have put on a bit too much makeup for a, a sunday family thin who can tell but yeah that i don't think that tan really did anything like tiny tiny little bit but honestly nothing like extreme um and this lighting is really not doing my complexion any good <laughs> Hey guys, I am really really sorry 
bought yesterday for two reasons. One, for not getting the vlog up and two, for not signing off last night. Yeah, we had a really good day yesterday, didn't we, Joe? Yeah. Yeah, it was really fun. Spent some time with the fam. Um, we didn't get in, I think, until... Uh, was it about five? Yeah. Yeah, we were so tired that, yeah, I just thought, oh, well, there's no way I was going to get the vlog up for six. So I thought, do you know, it's like there's no point in me working myself, like, late into the evening and being even more tired. So I'm going to... Put it up today i'm literally just about to start editing it now and yeah i was so tired i didn't even sign off i was like in bed i think before nine yeah <laughs> uh, you want to go to bed at seven uh, yeah i well i i thought it seemed later than what it was didn't it yeah but yeah i was like trying to go go to bed and it was like seven o'clock we literally just come in um had tea and i was like should we go to bed now bedtime so uh, yeah so i'm gonna end this vlog here and i'm actually starting the vlog like right now um so yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed again sorry it's a little bit late but i'm sure i'm sure you'll be fine with it so yeah and we will see you in the next video bye Welcome back.